This is the Get Your Ass to Work podcast. This is episode number 34. And today we're going to talk about crime in Reno. I made a video on YouTube about five years ago, four or five years ago. Title of it was The Crime in Reno. I used to get all of these phone calls from people who were out of state. And the first thing that they would want to know about is what is the crime like in Reno? Because they read some bullshit online. They looked up the crime statistics per capita. And it shows that Reno is like this worst, terrible place to live in the world. And I looked at this and I saw this article. And we get dust storms and all the shit that people have themselves so psyched out about in their mind. And it just got comical. So I made a fucking video about it because I just thought it was funny that all of these people are just so duped by the internet and just so worried that whatever they read online is like Reno's the worst place on the fucking planet to live. Well, what's even more funny than that is I put the video out and it got it's got like 10,000 views and which is way more than I ever thought anybody would watch a video about my dumbass talking about Reno, but it was it was funny. It got 10,000 views. And the comments are just hilarious. I mean, so much haterade. People are just so negative because people want to pretend that Reno is this like hard, like grimy, gritty place to live. And I'll tell you what right now, man, Reno is like the best and nicest place I have lived in or have visited that's a major metropolitan area. I mean, it's one of the top. It's one of the nicest places that I have been. And I would say of all the places that I've lived that I could compare it to, um, it, it's like a, it's like a small town, like, you know, like kind of coming out of the cowboy era, ranch era type of place. People are still really friendly. There's no traffic yet. Um, There's just enough shopping and everything to keep you entertained, but it's definitely lacking in, you know, robust city, like current, like shit that people are all interested in or pretend to be interested in, like wine culture and art and all this stuff. I mean, it has it, but not nothing like living in the Bay Area where I've spent a lot of my youth growing up at. But let me tell you about another place I lived called St. Louis, Missouri, which is pretty most pretty much one of the most fucked up places that I've ever have even been through in my life. Like I've been through third world countries where I was like, this is way fucking safer than going through downtown East St. Louis. Like, man, I'll tell you, there are neighborhoods you will not ride your fucking bicycle in, in the town of St. Louis, because you will get beat up, stabbed or fucking shot for being in the wrong neighborhood doing anything. And that's not a joke. There is nothing like that here in Reno. And people are talking about gangs and all. I'm like, dude, I'm like, no, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm not saying there's not crime here. I'm not saying that it's fucking perfect. And like, if you take your family to this perfect little picnic in downtown and you go to the second street and you go to the bridge and you're out on the Truckee river all day that you're not going to see homeless people walk by or, you know, possible some shady characters coming in and out of the bus terminal. What I'm saying is, is in general, Reno is one of the fucking best and safest cities I have ever been to fucking period. And I've been to a lot of cities and I've lived in a lot of places and I've commuted and I've been across the San Francisco to Oakland Bay Bridge commuting every day to go to work. And I've lived in the Bay Area commuting on the 580 and the 101. And, the you know, I've lived for a short amount of time in Long Beach, California, where, you know, I'm on the 405 daily. That shit sucks, man. I've stayed in Brooklyn, you know, where you pay like $18 for a fucking pack of batteries living in Bed-Stuy, where at the time, Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn was like, oh shit, that's the ghetto. And I'm like, man, this ain't shit compared to St. Louis. I'm, I'm not saying it was safe. I'm not saying that these are nice places. I'm saying that Reno is a nice place. I'm saying that Reno is one of those places where you really aren't in 
of any danger in any neighborhood at pretty much any time. It, it's kind of a joke to me. And I'm not saying that in a way because everyone's got this fucked up story and like, oh, I heard that my friend went to Reno and this happened to them in downtown and it's a terrible place. And yeah, I know, I know, I know. Everyone's going to have a fucking story because most people are just going to be negative about everything in their life anyway and nowhere is good and everywhere sucks and everywhere's underpaid and housing prices are too high and there's not enough jobs and everything else is wrong with everybody who made those fucked up comments on my YouTube channel, which I still liked and I responded to everyone because I thought that shit was just hilarious, man. But I made a follow-up video to Crime in Reno probably about a year ago. Uh, as of today's recording, which today is uh, September 20th. Um, and I made a follow-up video, and it's my second most watched video behind the first original Crime in, uh, Crime in Reno review video. And look, man, I've been here for six years now. It's still one of the best, safest, coolest, nicest little cities that I've ever lived in. It's not too big. You know, it's it's... It's definitely not too big. It's it's just big enough, basically, to meet the type of needs and demands that I like and the amenities that I want. And, yeah, the snow sucks. You know, I can say, you know, the climate here, man, winter's pretty fucking hard. You know, if you're not from here, you're listening to this podcast and you're not from the Reno area, yeah, winter lasts a long time here, man. It starts at the end of October and it is solid through March and April of, of being some cold weather. And I mean, even in June, you know, the nights in June, we were at the Reno rodeo this year in sweatshirts, man. You know, it's, it's like in the middle of June, it can still, it can still get cold. And yes, I've been here when we've had snowstorms that have closed down the highways in May, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about snow closing off roads all day. If you get two to three inches on the city floor of Reno, it's gone within a couple of hours, and they do a really good job plowing the place. Great city to live in, guys. So um, don't believe you know the shit that you hear on the Internet if you have any questions. And the funniest part about all those negative comments and all the bullshit was everyone saying, oh, you're a real estate agent. You'll never say anything bad about Reno. And it's like, yeah, okay. So if you guys have listened to my podcast or you know me in person, it's pretty pretty safe to say you know that I am zero bullshit. And if something's fucked up, I will tell you it's fucked up. And if something's good... I'll give you my opinion that something's good because I don't sugarcoat anything. And as of now, and for the future, I say Reno is one of the biggest, best, safest, coolest cities that you can live in. And it may not be your forever place to live. It, it may not be mine either. But as of now, there is nothing going on here in the city of Reno that's causing me to want to move the fuck out of here, except for more Californians keep coming in. <laughs> so, guys, this is the Get Your Ass to Work podcast. This has been episode number 34. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of your comments, whether they're good or bad. I respond to every single one of them at this time. I have the time to respond, so if you have questions, you have concerns about Reno, or you want to talk about real estate, or you want to talk about being a real estate agent here in the city of Reno, Give me a call or book an online appointment, www.danielpuzz.work, and you can book an appointment to speak with me. We'll take some time out, get you all straightened out, clear the air about what's happening in Reno, and as of now, we will see you next week.